Hello and welcome to another video where this time we're going to be creating a realistic pencil sketch effect. Now I'm using Photoshop Elements, but don't worry if you're using any other version of Photoshop, it's going to be very easy to follow along. Right, we're going to make a start. Now the first thing we need to do is to create a background for our sketch. Now for that we're going to be using an adjustment layer. So I'm going to come up to the half black, half white icon. When we click on this we're going to go to solid colour. Now when the colour picker opens I'm going to click in the top left hand corner which is going to give me white. And I want to use an off white so I'm going to come to this slider here. We're going to lift it up and when you release it you can see that's the sort of colour I'm after. So just bringing it into that region looks pretty good. Perhaps just backing it up very slightly. We're going to click OK to that. Next, let's come back down to our background layer. Now I'm going to use Command J or Control J. That's Command J or Control J, which is going to duplicate our background layer. It is now called Background Copy. But to make life easier, we're going to double click. We're now going to call this Sketch 1. We're going to press Enter or Return to Apply. Now we're going to duplicate this layer again. So once again, Command J or Control J, that's Command J, Control J. We've now got one copy, just double clicking on the text, coming right to the end. Let's delete that out. We're going to call this number two. Right, heading back down to sketch one. This is now our live layer. Clicking on sketch one, we're going to lift it up. We're going to put it on top of our paper layer. In it goes. Next. Heading over to the filter, we're going to come down to Filter Gallery. When Filter Gallery opens, we're going to go down to Sketch. We're going to come across to Photocopy. Now with Photocopy, this is the sort of effect I'm looking for. We're in at 30.9%. I've got the Hand Tool, so I'm going to right click. We then get a Fly Out menu. I'm going to come down to 100% which is actual pixels as well. That's going to take me to 100% so we can see the effect this is having. Now I've got the setting, the detail of 1, the edge darkness of 18. That looks absolutely brilliant like that. You might want to try just a little bit. No, if I just drop it down again, I think where it was at 18 looks perfect. The deep, nope, I'm leaving that down at 1. Okay, we'll leave it like that. Now, this is probably just a little bit too perfect. Well, after all, it is a photocopy. So what we're now going to do is we're going to come down to this icon here. This is the new effects layer. Clicking on it, it duplicates the photocopy. But if we come down to brush strokes, we're now going to go to accented edges. With accented edges, I've got the edge width of 1, got the edge brightness 22. I've got the smoothness set to 6. That looks better. If I just switch this off, you can see the way the two are now working together. Right, coming back to this layer, just try and edge width a little bit higher. Nope, I think one is the better one. Brightness. No, I think where it was there, 22, that was a lot better. Smoothness, we're going to leave on six. We're going to click OK to that. Now, once again, this is looking solid white. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the blend mode from normal. We're going to darken the whites down. To do that, we're going to use multiply. That will allow us to see the, and there it is, you can see the color of our paper layer coming through. Next, we're going to go down to sketch two. We're going to lift sketch two up, waiting for that solid black line on top of sketch one. We can now release it. Heading back up to filter, to filter gallery. When Filter Gallery opens, we're going to go to Artistic. We're going to go to Cutout. We're now going to use the settings of just waiting it to come through. And notice I've also got the Cutout. There it is. You can also see the Photocopy. So let's click on this layer. Let's delete that. So giving us back our Cutout. Just waiting for it to apply. There it is. Number of levels. Don't you love it when that sort of thing happens? Number of levels I'm using is 8. Edge simplicity of 5. Edge fidelity 2. Let's drop that down to 1. There, that looks perfect. Let's click on OK to that. The next stage is to take all of the colour out. So we're going to go to Enhance. We're going to go to Adjust Colour. We're going to come across to Remove Colour. A simple shortcut is Command Shift U. That's Command Shift U on a Mac. It is Control Shift U. Control Shift U on a PC will remove the colour. Looking good like that. Filter. 
we're going to come down to stylize we're going to come across to find edges which gives us this effect once again changing the blend mode to multiply will allow us to see through it i've got that hand tool selected so i can right click i can go to actual pixels if you have got any other tool selected from the toolbox try a simple shortcut which is command one or control one that's command one or control one that's going to take you into the 100 percent we can now use the hand tool or press the space bar to move yourself around the picture like the way this is looking if i just switch this off there it is and you can see the way the two are working together right next i want to give a little bit more to the shading so let's go back to filter let's come back down to filter gallery with filter gallery we're going to go to cut out again just waiting for this to apply and right clicking let's go to that 100 percent is important get in you can then see exactly the effect it's having with your picture using the number of levels eight edge simplicity five edge fidelity of one let's take it up to two just yeah that looks good like that just switching it off that's what we came in with just reapply applying that cutout get more words right <laughs> gives us this sort of effect like the way that's looking so we're going to click OK to that there it is with all of these we can just reduce down the opacity we can blend it with the layer underneath going to take it into this sort of region here and there is that sketch effect the extra cutout has given us you can see the shading around this part of the image looks good we can click on this layer as well perhaps just reducing down the opacity just experiment see what looks good with your picture but there it is right let's head back out to fit on screen so i'm going to use command zero or control zero that's command zero control zero there is our sketch effect the one thing you may have noticed when we were in at 100 percent where we got the solid color there is no sort of uh, what can i say no grain no noise so let's add a little bit of texture we're going to click on the solid layer let's put in a new empty layer which will put it above our solid layer i'm going to double click where it says layer one i'm going to call this what it's going to become which is texture right for the texture the first thing we need to do is come up to edit we need to fill this layer so we're going to go to fill layer and from the fly up menu here i'm going to use white we're going to click on ok it has now changed to white coming down to styles now with styles just make sure from the drop down menu here you've selected patterns we're now going to come down to this one which is painted wallboard when we click on this you can see the difference that makes to the image let's go back over to layers and i'm going to drop the opacity down once again with the hand tool i can right click i can go to actual pixels try the shortcut command one control one that's command one control one that will also take you to 100 percent you can see there's that texture looking good with the paper i'm going to drop it right the way down that's now blending it with this layer underneath there around about 35 36 that looks absolutely brilliant like that and you can see there is our texture if i just switch it off see what i mean now with that solid color looks a lot better with a little bit of texture heading back out to fit on screen using command zero control zero there is our sketch effect finished but you can also add a little bit of a twist let's come back down to our background layer we're going to use command j or control j that's command j control j to duplicate the layer we're going to lift this layer we're going to place it on top of sketch 2 waiting for that solid line once you see that you can release it in it goes filter filter gallery waiting for filter gallery cut out number of levels eight there it is thank you for applying it edge simplicity of five edge fidelity of two that looks good like that let's click on ok next we're going to come to a blend mode we're going to add color to our sketch the blend mode i'm going to select is going to be pin light with pin light there is our effect let's right click use command one control one as well can go to 100 percent and in we pop just love the way this gives it a little bit of color around edges these uh, clear areas as well 
to the people over here that really does look good if i just switch this off you can see there it is with the sketch effect looks good with the sketch effect as well as i say you may just want to leave it with the sketch effect on the other hand just try a little bit of experimenting with color you could even reduce down the opacity very slightly into this region here yeah that looks good like the way this is looking Given it a little bit more definition, let's head up to an adjustment layer. Let's come down to levels. With levels, we can see, yes, got a little bit of a gap here. So moving that in just to brighten things up. Let's darken things down there. Just coming to the center and I'm just going to darken it down a touch or two. Switching the little eye icon. There it is before. There it is after. Just looking around the rest of the image. Just switching that off again. Just taking a look. Yeah, I think I'm just going to back it up very slightly into this region here. Looks good. Don't forget, save it in layers. If you save it in layers, you can come back, you can make adjustments. You may want to adjust any of the opacities to the sketch one, sketch two, even to the texture. So just experiment, see what looks good with your picture. But there it is with our color layer. Don't forget, as ever, just uh, call it what it is, which is color. And there it is. Go on, give it a try. What I'm going to do next is bring my cursor out. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to black for the background. I'm going to press tab on the keyboard, which removes all the panels. Let's go to fit on screen. There is our finished image. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe as there's plenty more videos to come. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.